with the release of Iron Patriots, I figure we take a look back at War Machine number one. Alright everyone, it's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber and we are back at it again with another comic book review. Today we're going to take a look at the classic War Machine number one, Jim Rhodes, The Armor and the Attitude. And if you guys didn't see my last review of The Iron Patriot, take a look at that review and also I did a review of The War Machine from the Hulk Build-A-Figure Wave. But today, in honor of War Machine, we are gonna take a look at War Machine number one. Now this is, I believe, part of a four-part series of War Machine. This was from, I believe, the 90s, 93, I'm guessing it was released. So we're going to take a quick glimpse at this War Machine, and I do believe uh, there are some guest appearances in this comic book, such as um, uh, Nick Fury, and I think Cable also makes an appearance in this number one. As you can see, it's a very silver, silverish. This is the awesome stuff that they had back in the 90s. The silver feel to this war machine all right let's open it up and let's take a look at war machine number one okay look at that man talk about back to the past Shaq remember Shaquille O'Neal before he was famous and Nick Nolte and blue chips and actually a pretty pretty good movie in your face to 1894 wow wow dude Stan Lee presents War Machine, something to believe in. The long-awaited beginning of the brightest new chapter in the majestic Marvel Universe. They've had this coming for a long time. Long time. Okay, uh, we're not going to go through the story, guys. We're just going to check out uh, some of the images here. And wow, look at that. First, open up the page and look, look at all this. You got green, you got War Machine taking on the Green Goblin. Well, blasting the Green Goblin. <laughs> uh, Sabretooth, you got Kingpin, you got Magneto, you got Dr. Ock, Rhino, Juggernaut, you got Ultron, looks like Ultron. Man, you got everybody. Red Skull, all battling and out. No more messing around. The world's had enough of your greed and stupidity. Awesome, awesome picture, man. I really, really dig that. <laughs> War Machine celebrating with his biatches. <laughs> Collect the ultimate card. Yours, Ken Griffey Jr. Look at that, man. 1994 Upper Deck. <laughs> basketball cards. Remember basketball cards, man? Yeah, I used to collect them. Tops, own the game. That's crazy, man. Isn't that uh, Dan Major? Dan Majuri? Dan Majuro? I've heard of his name. Can't recall his playing career. It probably was a little bit before my time, before I even got into basketball. Uh, seems like War Machine is battling out. Oh, there's Iron Man. The first appearance of Iron Man right there. Iron Man is checking out his new suit. War Machine, man, they need to make a War Machine movie, man. Very, very awesome. One of the coolest African-American superheroes there is. Next to Spawn and Blade. Blade is pretty cool. And Cage and Black Panther. But uh, yeah, they definitely need to make a, a War Machine movie. Very, very awesome. I look at this. Mile High Comics. I don't know if they even still exist anymore. Crazy, man. All books. Only $2 each. Crazy, crazy. Beautiful artwork of this War Machine. Number one. Stan Lee. By the one and only Stan Lee. 
man, they just don't make comics like this anymore, man. The artwork in this in these comic books were just absolutely amazing. Absolutely stunning artwork, man. Like I said, I'm not going to read the full story because uh, if I did, it'd take me forever. Let's say this would be like a two-hour video. So I'm just showing you a quick glimpse, guys. A little preview or a little review, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, man, they did a lot of advertising back in the day. Look at that. First editions, Batman, Spawn, Ghost Rider, Superman, Doomsday, X-Men. Jeez. Trading cards. I used to collect them. I still collect them. I've done a lot of trading card reviews on my channel. Look, there's Deathlock. Love Deathlock. Definitely would love to get the first issue of Deathlock. One of my favorite, favorite characters from the MCU. Captain America. A Deathlock movie? Yeah, they need to make it. Oh yeah, there's Nick Fury right there. That's awesome. I remember back in the day, I don't know if you guys remember this, you might be a little bit too young, but I remember they made a, a movie back in the day about Nick Fury, and they had David Hasselhoff play Nick Fury. No lie, man. No lie. More advertisements of baseball cards. There's the classic Nick Fury before Sam Jackson took over the role and kind of made it his own. But I can't, you know, I can't think of anybody else other than Sam Jackson now playing Nick Fury character. You know, when a when a when an actor does such an amazing job, like we'll bring up Blade, for example, Wesley Snipes, you know, did an amazing job playing Blade. It's hard to um you know, picture another actor playing that character, such as, you know, Hugh Jackman in Wolverine, um, Ron Perlman in Hellboy, you know, even the the last Hellboy, uh, even though Ron Perlman didn't play that Hellboy, uh, I forget the actor's name who played uh, that Hellboy, he did an amazing job, so I definitely have to give it up to him, he, he was a really, really, really awesome uh, Hellboy, and it was actually a really good movie. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna hate on Hellboy. Uh, the new Hellboy, um, they did an amazing job with that movie. They did the best they could. I wish it would have made more money. I wish more people would have went to go see it, but it is what it is. But the beautiful artwork in this man, absolutely stunning, stunning. I would love to have like one of these pages like blown up and like hung on my wall. Really, really awesome. And uh, like I said, this is like a four part series. So there is part two, part three, part four. So you saw the uh, guest appearance of Nick Fury in here, Iron Man, Captain America, some of your classic Avengers, Nick Fury, of course. It's amazing how they brought uh, Marvel to the big screen, and they did an amazing job doing that. I wish they could do the same thing with X-Men. Even though I do like X-Men, speaking of X-Men, there's Cable. Even though I do love X-Men, I, uh, I wish they would make... They need, I've said this time and time again, guys, if you watch my videos, they need to put the X-Men in the blue and gold uniforms, man. Love Cable. Awesome, awesome. Cable is one of my favorite uh, figures from not only X-Men, but from the Marvel Universe. Love to see a movie on Cable. Get with it. Love to see it. Whether uh, it's going to be Josh Brolin playing Cable or not, I still want to see Cable, a Cable movie, man. Very, very awesome figure. And I actually reviewed uh, Cable number one. <laughs> There's War Machine and Cable uh blowing blowing the crap out of each other very awesome man <laughs> look at cable thong wang war machine blasting cable man this is an awesome awesome comic book amazing read i definitely recommend it guys sakum sakum cable and war machine added again So let's do it before he does. So I'm guessing they're teaming up. You ready to listen to reason? 
War Machine. Depends. You got any? Scoom, scoom thing. Now what? Scam. And then there's the appearance of Deathlock. Yeah. Now that I got your attention, I think we all need to have a little talk. I'm here to break out Vincent Centario. Either of you got a problem with that? Next, between Deathlock and a hard place. Awesome, man. Love Deathlock. Like I said, one of my favorite, favorite figures. And look at NBA Jam. Remember M uh, NBA Jam? I used to play that all the time. Boom shakalaka. Oh my god, I hate that. I hate that term. But every time, you know, they go up for a dunk and the basketball will be on fire. And then they slam it down. The announcer would be like, boom shakalaka. Alright guys, there was my little review. Not much of a review. I was kind of all over the place. Uh, but with a little look at the uh, War Machine number one. Definitely a classic, classic comic book. Brings back a lot of memories, man. If you grew up in the 90s uh, and if you love War Machine, if you love Avengers, I definitely highly recommend this War Machine. It's definitely a good read. Pick up two, three, and four to finish out the story. Uh, but an awesome, awesome uh, comic book nonetheless. So, there you guys have it. There was my little review, or my little preview, of War Machine number one. If you guys like this little review, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you want to receive more cool, awesome reviews like this. And there you guys have it. There was my little review of War Machine number one. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll catch you guys later. Bye!